Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mario So and today I'll be showing you how to create that intro sequence that you just saw. This zoom in from earth to drone sort of transition. So if you're new here, it will be greatly appreciated if you consider subscribing. I create weekly content on filmmaking, editing tutorials, and gear review. And if that's something you think you'll be into, subscribe to be in the know of what other stuff I'll be up to. And if you're already subscribed, Thank you so much for being here. Today I'll be showing you how to easily create this transition in Premiere Pro. There's certainly many, many different ways of doing this. There's the more complex way where you use After Effects and create different layers. But today's tutorial will be a simple one just so that you can get started with playing around with such a transition. I can see this transition being a very cool establishing shot transition as opposed to just your regular wide shot. You can start from outer space and then zoom in directly into your location. For this tutorial to work, you also need a drone shot or if you can get stock footage, you can go on Pexels. They have free stock footage of drones as well. The best thing would be though, if you know where that drone shot was done to sort of get that same zoom in from the map and the glow. The more similar that the drone shot looks to the actual zoom in, the more you'll be able to sell this effect. So I am not very well versed in animation and I certainly cannot create 3D renderings of an earth model and make it zoom all the way and create this cool effect. So there's a trick that I use that I will show you in this tutorial. So let's get started and jump into Premiere Pro. To get started, we're going to need a drone clip. And if you don't have your own drone, you can go on Pexels and look for free drone stock footage but I'll use a clip that I shot a couple weeks ago when I went to a cottage here in Ontario. So I, here I have fired up Premiere Pro and this is the clip that I have selected that I want to use. I'll play it back. So I think this is the clip that I want to use, but one thing that I want is instead of this zooming out and tilting the camera up. I wanted to do the opposite. So I'll first drag this clip onto my timeline, my tutorial timeline. The first thing I want to do is I want to right click and click on speed and duration to reverse the speed. And that way I get the opposite. So I get the drone coming down and tilting down into the scene. And this is about 11 seconds and it's a little bit too slow for my liking. Uh, the entire thing I want it to be in between, you know, about 10 seconds. So let's speed it up. If you go on Control R or Command R, you can change the speed of the clip. I'll try with 150 and press o and click OK. The next thing that you want to do is create the globe earth zoom in from outer space clip. You can download Google Earth onto your computer. Once you have Google Earth fired up, it will be best if you know where that drone footage was taken so that you can uh, match that a little bit better when you zoom in from Google Earth. If you do not know where it was, uh, you could probably just browse around and on the map on Google Earth and see if there's something that looks similar so that you can use that to transition. So click and go to Sparrow Lake, Ontario, which is where I took the drone shot. And right away, you can see as you enter, Google Earth just zooms in to where you have selected. And that's already a pretty cool way of transitioning from Earth. Uh, but we're going to do it a little bit differently because I know that I was exactly in this spot around here. So we'll zoom in a little bit more. And if I go back to my drone shot, we can see that this is what it looks like. So what I can do here is rotate the map a little bit maybe roughly here. So it looks similar in a sense. Perfect, we have that. Okay, so we're actually, we'll start this way. We'll start with the drone shot like that. And now what you can do is screen record your computer. So as soon as you zoom out from this location in Google on Google Earth, you can have that recorded as your video clip and that's what you will be using to transition from outer space into the drone shot. So on the right side over here where you can zoom in and out, what you can do is just click and start zooming out. I have already pre-recorded this screen and this is the part in the video that I want to use. So I'll click and drag it into my timeline. 
So what I want to do is I find that zoom is a little bit too slow. So I'm going to come in R or control R and speed that up to 150% and drag this clip to the beginning of the sequence. Okay, so I find that the ending is a little too fast. So let's do 125%. Clip to start slow as you zoom in into the earth from outer space. And as you get closer to earth, uh, the clip starts to speed up a little bit. Let's reverse the clip. Because I want this clip to actually zoom in from outer space as opposed to zoom out. And now I want to nest the sequence. Because I want to add a speed ramp. And I know I want to speed up the clip maybe right about here. So you can command or control click on this point and now you can adjust that speed ramp. And I also like to extend these out a little bit to sort of smooth in that speed ramp. And that's, yeah, I think that's pretty good. And at that point we can sort of start zooming in into the drone shot. Let's scale the clip first because right now what we, what we see is just like the screen recording that we had done earlier. So let's zoom in on the scale this way so that we can get rid of the Google Earth letters. Okay, let's move this clip up on the second video layer and let's bring the drone footage right here. So to smoothen this out, we're going to add a crossfade at the end of this Google Earth clip and at the beginning of this drone clip. So if we play through the footage, you can see that it's not bad. It's starting to look pretty good. And So if you hear that noise, is my bunny. She is exploring this area right now and introducing so much background noise to this video. What are you doing there? Stop chewing my cables. Ruth? Why are you biting my box? She also has her own Instagram account, by the way. So if you'd like to check her out, feel free in the description below. Where you go? Ru, let me record peacefully. So what you can do now is add fake clouds or smoke just to sell the effect a little bit more. And to save you time, I'll be linking you to the two clips that I use of the cloud and the smoke. Import those two clips. And I've selected this in and out point of this first clip. You can click and drag it on top in between your two clips. And now you can select effect controls for that clip and click on screen. And that's how you get rid of that black background. We can smoothen it out a little bit because the smoke just appears and dis disappears. So it's a very harsh transition. Let's say I want to start introducing clouds right about here. Let's move that a little bit back. And control or command D in my case to, in to add a crossfade at the beginning and at the end of that uh, smoke or cloud clip. So this is what it looks like and right away it looks pretty good. Um, but I'll add the other smoke footage that I had from Pexel. So I had pre-selected the in and out points. I feel like the smoke looks quite good over here. So a little click and drag that down here. I think I can make it a little bit shorter. And again, add a cross dissolve at the front and at the end. We'll stagger this a little bit so it doesn't start right at the same time, maybe a little bit earlier compared to the previous clip. So now that we play it, oh, there's one more thing we need to do with this clip. Go to effect controls and change the blend mode to screen. And there you go. You can also adjust the opacity of this. So if you didn't, if you wanted like a more subtle cloud, so you could adjust the opacity to be lower, but I want it to be a little bit uh, like sort of like a thicker cloud. So I'll leave that at hundred percent. So let's play this back. And again, to make it to play a little bit smoother, you're going to have to drag the in and out points and click on sequence and render into out. The next two things that you can do is add some sound effects just to sell that effect a little bit more. I got my sound effect from Epidemic Sound. If you would like to try and check them out, get a month for free. There's a link in the description below. You can also get free sound effects from freesound.org. And just to finish off the video, what I did was to color correct the footage and add some color grading in the end to cap it off. And this is what this transition looks like.
so I hope you learned something new and you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe and that would be greatly appreciated. And that is all for today guys, until next time.